Hey everyone, I stopped at a gas station in Alabama to get some fuel. And y'all talk about minimum wage, how high it's getting and stuff. This gas station is what's going to happen. Everything here is automated. There's not a soul here working. And I'm going to show you around to show and then he gives you a tour of this gas station and basically takes like a minute and a half to teach us how vending machines work. So this dude finds a fully automated gas station, no attendants on site, and is trying to make the point that this is as a result of raising the minimum wage, that uh, employees are going to be replaced by automation. Now he mentions in the video that it's a gas station in Alabama. Well, let's check wages in Alabama. Okay, Alabama, seven twenty-five an hour. Alabama has no state minimum wage law, so it's subject to the federal minimum wage, which is seven twenty-five an hour, which hasn't been raised since two thousand nine. So you found an automated gas station, and you're blaming it on an increase in a minimum wage? What the f are you talking about, man? So this TikToker by the name of Keep Troy Blue points out something that is really astonishing. I mean, think about it. Only in a capitalist society is jobs being automated anything that is seen as bad. Theoretically, on the grand scale, if more jobs are automated, that means that we all could produce the same amount for the entirety of society with less human labor which means that things should theoretically get cheaper in price and that we should all collectively be working less hours every year. But somehow the opposite is true. Now, why is the opposite true? That answer is very simple. It's because under capitalism, we have a system that only incentivizes profits. It doesn't incentivize anything regarding quality of life, better working conditions, more time off to spend with your family. No, what these companies care about is their bottom line. So they will do what is most profitable for them. In some instances, that means automating away jobs, except for because we live in a capitalist society that is organized to the interests of capital, those benefits only go to a select few individuals who own specific companies, and they don't go to the broader public at large. What they don't have to pay in benefits and salary is something that they keep in profits, and instead of paying taxes like a social democracy might have them pay, the United States is all about that rugged individualism, which means no social safety net for all those workers that lose their jobs because of automation. So even in that regard, the United States is already doing worse than most capitalist countries. We can't even do the things that they do in like Canada, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, etc. Now to be clear, those systems all have their own terrible problems because once again, they are all capitalist countries after all. But at least they have the decency to put in place a social safety net to make sure that the people who lose their jobs because of automation aren't going homeless immediately. Now in the United States, that's not the case, which is one of the reasons why American workers have less benefits than basically any other country and incredibly long working hours, <laughs> especially when you consider the fact that American workers don't get vacation time. The deep irony of this is them blaming this on the minimum wage. You see, this is the backwards logic that capitalists so often use. They say that anything that goes to working class people will just be too much and would break the system, but they do those things anyway. You ever notice how they always blame inflation not on military spending or government subsidies for giant corporations, but on your stimulus checks? That's what they blame inflation on, when the stimulus checks have no bearing on inflation whatsoever. It has no impact on the aggregate demand for money. Because the people getting the stimulus check have a complete need for money and they're gonna spend it right out of the gate. These corporations, however, completely different story. But so what they do is, capitalism will create a problem, then it will tell you that that problem is caused by too much socialism. And so the appropriate response is more capitalism, right? And then that more capitalism creates even more problems and then they come in and say, you see these even more problems? That's because there's still too much socialism. But here's the secret. There's never been any socialism. It doesn't exist in the United States. Even systems that are modeled after what socialist countries would have, things like the post office, are fundamentally dictated by the politicians who work for the capitalists. And so no, there really isn't socialism in the United States. The reason why they sell you this lie, however, is because their goal is to convince you that capitalism is the only possible way of organizing a society. And that doing anything that would empower working class people in any way, shape, or form would make everything secretly worse, that would cause all the inflation, that would increase prices. But newsflash, 
Prices have been increasing the entire time. This is Ben Corolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to stay up to date with my content, you can follow me at Benjamin Corolla on Twitter. And for those of you that might be wondering or have noticed, my pronouns are in fact she, her.